What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple different ways that you can mirror and flip objects within your SketchUp models. Today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you're interested in doing that, you like what I'm doing in this channel, please make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk about a few of the different ways that you can flip objects within SketchUp and um, or mirror objects within SketchUp. And so the first option that I want to talk about is the built-in option for flipping objects along an axis. So this is probably going to be the easiest way to flip an object within SketchUp. And so the way that you can do that is you can go in here and you can pick an object and you can right click on it. And if you go down, there's an option for flip along. When you select the option for flip along, you can use this to flip along the different axes. So in this case, if I wanted to flip the object this way, I would go to flip along groups green. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna flip this object in place. And so you can also do flip along red. Um, if I gave this a little bit of height, just so we could kind of see what we're looking at a little bit better, um, and we did flip along groups blue, then it would flip this over um, along the blue axis. So that's the easiest way to flip an object in place within SketchUp. And you'll notice that that object does remain in place, it doesn't move. So the second option that I'm gonna talk about is flipping objects using the scale tool. So if you've watched many of my tutorials, you probably have seen that I usually use this option and mostly it's because it gives me a visible indicator of what my objects are gonna look like. But um, what you may know is when you activate the scale tool, you're going to get a bunch of these scale boxes. And you know that you can use this to resize different objects um, to whatever size you want it to be. Well, one of the other functions that you can use this for is you can also use this to negative scale an object. And so like in this case, if I was to use the scale tool to flip this and I was to scale it to negative one, what it would do is it would scale this object this way. And so you'd be able to see where it's going to be. And if I move it to negative one, then I maintain the same proportions. And uh, one of the ways I like to use this is I like to use this in conjunction with the move tool in copy mode because it's really quick for me to just create a copy of an object, move it off to the side, and then move it back. And so um, I've talked about this before, but one of the things that can be a real time saver in SketchUp is if you're using components. So whoops. If I was to come in here and make this a component instead of a group, um, one of the real time savers of this is whenever you're working with symmetrical objects, if you only model half of it and then you flip it and put it back in place like this, then any of the changes you make in one of these is going to be reflected in the others as well. So because this is a copy of a component, if I come in here and start making changes, like for example, if I was to push pull this out, um, maybe make this piece a little bit taller, something like that. Because this is a symmetrical object, you can see how this is uh, reflected in the original object as well. So basically you spend half of your time, you basically spend half the time modeling because you don't have to come in and redo all this work. So the third way that you can do this is you can use the scale tool to flip an object in place. So let's say for example that I came in here and I had a very simple shape like this one and I made this a group, um, I already showed you how to flip an object using the scale tool where it actually moves across the face like this. Well, you can also scale this about center in order to keep it in place. So if I wanted to flip this without changing its X, Y orientation within the model, or if I wanted to flip it without moving, what I could do is I could activate the scale tool by clicking on this grip, and then I could hold the control key. And you can see how when I hold the control key, what that does is this locks this into about center mode. And so when I'm in about center mode, what that means is now this object is going to get scaled about center. So you can see how as I click and move this, um, this is scaling this object around the center of the object. And you could also use this to flip this along multiple different axes. So like for example, we'll come in here again and let's say this had a little bit of height to it, and I wanted to flip this in place, and I wanted to flip it over as well, um, I could use one of the corner grips, and I could move this to negative one to flip this along multiple axes at once. So this just gives you another option for the way you can move things in. If you don't want to come in here and do a flip along and a flip along, you can also just use the scale tool to do this really quickly. 
And then the last option I want to talk about is using an extension. And this extension is called Mirror. And it's another extension from TIG. And so what it does is it allows you to set a series of points along which you can flip an object. And so you can find this extension at the Sketchication Extension Warehouse. And I'll also link to it in the notes down below. But if I come up here and I activate the extension, what this does is this allows me to select one, two, or three points along which I can flip an object. So let's say for example that I wanted to flip this object along this corner. I could just activate the tool, click once on the corner, and hit the enter key and it's going to ask me if I want to erase the original selection. In this case I'm going to say no. But you can see how since I set one point, what this did is just flip this object along that one point. So single click, really easy. And you can do that with multiple different points. So like for example, let's say I wanted to do this along two points. So if I clicked and I clicked and then I hit the inner key, this would flip this along basically this line right here. And let's say for example that I wanted to flip it along this face, I would just set three points. So I would set a point, a point, and a point. And you can see how what that did is that basically created almost a plane that this uh, flipped this object along. And then one last thing I want to note about this extension is it's really good for flipping objects that aren't on the X or Y axis. So if this is kind of rotated or turned, um, it's going to work the same way. So if I want to flip objects along this face, it's really easy to do no matter what the axis orientation is. So that's another thing to consider is this gets a lot easier or this is a lot easier to use in a lot of cases than uh, coming in here and trying to do anything else when objects aren't lined up with the axes. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you have another way that you like to flip objects? Which one of these do you prefer in SketchUp? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.